Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Dollar Tree heart, turn it into a buffalo plaid with baby wipes, some painter's tape, and some paint. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's Stephanie here. Can you see me now? Hey, we are going to be working with a Dollar Tree wooden heart cutout. And um, I'm going to show you how you can turn it into a buffalo plaid. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about some of the tools that I'm going to use after I sit down here because this is one of the few times that I sit down. Let me try and get you all straightened out a little bit. Hopefully, we can stay in focus of the camera here. Yay! All right. So, this is um, one of the tools that you'll need is one of these wooden hearts from Dollar Tree. Yep, it's a dollar. And when you get it, it comes with this jute string. So, obviously, I took the jute string off before I um, started this project. You'll want some plain white paint because the wood itself needs to be painted before we add the buffalo plaid. So we, so I prepped the wood by painting it with just some acrylic white um, paint and the other things, and I used a sponge brush to paint it. The other things that we're gonna need are black paint, some baby wipes, some painter's tape, or in this case I have masking tape, and then I always keep a paper plate. I use it to put my paint on. But using baby wipes is a key thing for this one. Believe it or not, this is a fun, easy way to um, make buffalo plaid. So it's super simple. Anyone can do it. And as I said, I've already prepped my Dollar Tree heart. So what we're going to do, or my wooden heart, is we're going to take, and this is not, I hope this tape doesn't fail me. I know. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding a piece of tape across the top of here. And I'm just going to tear that off. And I'm going to use a smaller piece of tape as a spacer, just so I know where to place my next piece. And I have a feeling this tape's going to tear every time. So I'm going to have to be really gentle with what's been sitting there. All right. So I put my spacer there. So now I know where to put my next piece of tape. And we're just going to continue this process. A spacer. And another piece of tape. When you paint the board the solid white, you do have to prep the board with the solid white. You do want it to cure. You want the paint to be completely dry. So I recommend you doing that maybe a day in advance if it's a nice, comfortable temperature for it to dry. I did do this today and I used a blow dryer and tried to extremely um, make sure it was dry before I added before I started today's project because if you don't let it dry completely, when you go to remove the tape, it will pull the paint off with it. So I can't even get that piece straight, y'all. Thank you. 
And I'm just going to pour some paint right here on my plate. We'll start with that much. And we're going to take a baby wipe. So you know how baby wipes are kind of moist, but they're not dripping wet? So that is what we're going to be using. And now I'm going to dip that in this black paint. For this first layer of paint, you want to use a little bit more pressure. You want to use good pressure so that you have a dark black color. Nice, nice and black. We're just going to fill in the lines in between the tape. Look how easy that makes it. Pick that guy up. I also like to do on the edges, but that's going to be a personal preference, right? And just that quick, we're adding that black. So we want it a deep, dark black. And that'll be important here in just a moment. I'm just going to make sure I got all of my edges really well. While the paint is still wet, we're going to remove that tape. And look, the baby wipe is there to help you clean up when you get paint all over yourself, too. How fun is that? All right, so while the paint is still wet, you're going to start removing these pieces of tape. Easy peasy. So far, nothing real complicated, right, guys? Now, I do have my blow dryer out right next to me because in order for us to do this next step, we are going to need to make sure that this paint is completely dry. So hold the phone while I turn on the blow dryer. I'm going to set that paint paint pan aside or else it'll blow all over the place and let's dry this paint all right this next step now before actually before I go on to this next step let's talk about this so if you see you guys can see I have a few bleed marks on here and that's what happens when the paint or the tape doesn't stick really tight to your surface I'm okay with it because for this particular project um, I don't need those pristine lines. However, you could go back and touch up with a paintbrush if you wanted to remove some of that bleed mark. I think it makes it look a little bit more nostalgic. And what's really awesome is right now you could stop right here. I mean, so I'm going to use the same exact process. I'm going to start with my first row of tape, and but I'm going to go the opposite direction and lay my first row of tape. I'm going to use a spacer to um, make sure that I have even lines. There we go. I almost need two hands for this spacer. And we'll add our next piece of tape. It's not tearing as bad now that I'm further down on the roll, so that makes me happy. That makes my heart smile. Ah, get it? Get it? It was a little pun, y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and remove these spacers again. And 
and I'm trying not to pull on the black because I know the black is still kind of damp. So we're gonna remove these spacers. Now let's go back to our baby wipes. Let's make sure that the edges are real um, flush next to our heart, our wooden heart. Let's take our next baby wipe. So we went, we used the black paint the first time, but we used a lot of pressure. For this next step, you're still going to use some of this black paint, but you're going to use less of it. So you're going to... Um, not push down as hard, and we're going to kind of do a distressed look. So we're just going to barely add it on there. If you get a lot, you can turn your um, wipe over and wipe it off. So we want just a light coating of that black. If you get too much, just wipe it off because what we're gonna do is end up with a grayish color. And that's what's going to give us that buffalo plaid look. So it doesn't require a whole lot of paint and not a whole lot of pressure. Almost like a stain, if I were to describe it that way, to where you're staining the remaining white that's showing. All right, just checking to see if I missed any spots. Looks pretty good. Do a little quick cleanup. And let's let's reveal this. Okay, let's take off our end. Ideally, if you can let it dry in between coats, that will keep it from lifting these pieces. But it's kind of like, um, it looks pretty cool, but I want to actually go with the solid black squares. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take just a regular paintbrush and fill that in a little bit. However, if you would l allow this to dry completely before you do this, this last piece, um, it won't lift up. It won't give you that blotchy look. So let me grab a paintbrush. So I'm just going to take a square end paintbrush and add a little bit of paint on it. Not a whole lot. And I'm just going to touch up these areas where the, the black was lifted. I don't necessarily, it does look kind of cool though. It makes it even look more distressed. And there you have it. You have a buffalo plaid valentine heart or heart that you can use on as a wreath attachment, as a door hanger. And of course, we're going to add that jute strap back onto it, that jute rope that came with it originally. It 
And if you want to avoid this step, just let it dry longer in between the paint coats. It did give it a pretty cool look though. All right, let's take our jute roping. I saw one more block I wanted to touch up. And add our jute roping back on there. If, if your jute roping frays too much on the end, just take a little piece of tape. If I can find the edge again. There it is. Just take a very small piece of tape and wrap it around the ends of your jute rope. And now you've got something a little more tangible to stick into that hole. Now I can remove that piece of tape and retie my knot. And of course, at this point, if you wanted to change out the color rather than the jute rope that comes with the Dollar Tree heart, you could do that as well. That would look cute with either a black rope, a white rope, or use the natural rope. And that's it. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. Now, um, but these wood pieces are great and you can coat them with some Mod Podge to help protect them um, from weather elements or I like to protect them for dusting purposes because it's a lot easier to dust it once it has that coat of Mod Podge on it. So hopefully that you guys will ha have learned a little something. I can't wait to see what you make. Go to your Dollar Tree. Find some fun things. Have a great day, guys.